know you're tired, but it's just a little bit further. It's the building right over there, Candlehearth Hall. Let's get you out of the cold. Welcome. Hello, Elda. Let me know if you need anything, or may I sit by the fire and I'll send someone over. Get us some food, would you? And some strong meat. We'll be upstairs. Have a seat in front of the fire. You need to warm up. When I found you in that cave, I thought you were dead at first. If not for that fancy armor, I would have mistaken you for one of the bandits. I was quite impressed when I realized that You had taken out most of them before you were knocked out. It was the noise from the fighting that drew me to the bandit camp. I'm glad I found you alive. I've been looking for someone to team up with, do some adventuring, delving into ancient ruins, looking for treasure. You don't have to decide now, but I think we could make a good team, you and me. How are you feeling? Are you hurt or just exhausted? Let me help you take off your braces and I'll take a look. It's not too bad, just a flesh wound. I think I have a healing potion here, somewhere. It's just a small one, but combined with a hearty meal and a good night's sleep, it should do wonders. Here you go. And don't worry, I can buy more from Nurelion tomorrow. Oh, you've never been to Windhelm before. It's not the friendliest city, but since we're both Nords, we shouldn't encounter too many problems here. And Windhelm does have a few interesting shops. Like the white vial in the market square. A high elf named Nurelion runs it. He's a master alchemist. But it's mostly his apprentice I deal with when I go there. Nurelion is sickly and frail. So he doesn't work much anymore. Ah, here comes the food. Let's save that appetite. Thank you. some horker meat. It's very filling and you need your strength. Elda's baked potatoes are delicious as well. And some strong Nord meat, of course. I've been in the area for a few weeks now, looking for work. 
It's been mostly bandit contracts. There are some other interesting contracts as well, but so far I have declined. They seem too risky to do on my own. That's why I'm looking for someone to partner up with. I'm tired of fighting bandits. Raiding bandit camps with my bow from a distance. Then go in for the final kill when the numbers are low. I'm not one for sneaking, but sometimes that's just too many to take on all at once. What I would really like to do is explore some ancient ruins, Nord or Dwemer. It's always the dream to find something really rare and powerful, isn't it? A unique weapon or a treasure so valuable that selling it would set you up for life. But to be completely honest with you, even if that did happen one day, I still would not hang up my sword. It's the life of an adventurer for me. The freedom, the exploration, the fighting. And then returning to town with plenty of loot to sell. It's the only way I want to live. I was offered to join the companions in Whiterun once, but I turned them down. I don't want to join a faction, no matter how much freedom they claim to give you. I prefer to work for myself, freelance. I like to travel and to roam the wilderness, having all the time in the world just exploring, never knowing what you might stumble upon next. If you would like to partner up for a while, I have a few potential quests we can choose between. I wrote them down. So we can go through them if you like, and you can pick the one you're the most interested in. On top of the pile we have... Ah yes, I actually got this from Nurelion. The alchemist. Apparently, he named his shop the White Vial after a magical object he has been searching for for years in the hopes that someone who knew something about it would recognize the name when they saw his shop. And now, he believes he has located in a cave not too far from Windhelm. I don't know what the vial does exactly, but Nurelion gave me a mixture, and he claims that it is necessary to open a door in the cave, a door that leads further into the cave where the vial is. Apparently, No one has been able to open it. And if that holds true, that means that this cave, past the locked door, has never been explored by anyone. It's pristine. Whatever is in there, treasure and undead alike, has been undisturbed for the gods know how long. That's why I found this quest so tempting. And uh, that's also the reason why uh, 
I thought it might be the safer option to partner up with someone for this quest. According to legend, this cave is the resting place of someone named Kurelmir. Not much is known about him, except he was crafty, a master alchemist, and quite evil. Some say he was a dragon priest, or simply that he served them. If that is true, his resting place must be ancient indeed. Silvund is known to be the resting place of Fury and Holgair. I had no idea it was also connected to Queen Fridays. Maybe someone stole the sword from another location and lost it in Unsilvund. Anyway, it's an extensive ruin and there's bound to be plenty of loot for the both of us there. I also picked up a couple of quests on the docks. A man named Char, captain of the North Wind, wants someone to hunt down bandits for him. A bit unusual for someone who is not a local. I usually get this sort of job from the Jarl Stuart. I think this is personal, but I did not pry. So this one will be straight up fighting. If you're up for it. I prefer exploration myself, but... This type of quest, well, it's quick cash, usually. And you get to keep whatever the bandits have hoarded in their den. And if we happen to pick up something strange that we have no use for, we can sell it to Calixto. He has a curiosity shop on the opposite side of the stone quarter. He's a bit strange, but harmless enough. The East Empire Company has an office on the docks, and they are also looking for an adventurer or two. I spoke to their representative here in Windhelm, Ortus Andario is his name, and he told me that they're having difficulties maintaining their presence in the area because of a group of pirates called the Blood Horkers. We need to investigate where the pirates are hiding, find their headquarters. The company and the Empire are willing to send quite a lot of soldiers to flush them out. 
once they know where to strike. And we can join the battle as well, if we want. This is probably the most extensive quest of the bunch. It could take us a while to finish this one, but it could turn out to be quite profitable. I will let you choose. Whatever quest you prefer, we'll do it together. And then there's the matter of preparation. We probably need to stock up on quite a few things. Nurelion's apprentice, Quintus, said he would give us a few health potions for free if we go after the white vial which is good because I'm running low and those can be quite expensive Cure disease potions too we need a couple of those for skeevers, vampires and other critters that can spread disease. You don't happen to dabble in alchemy, do you? Hmm. Me neither. Never had the patience for it. I know a bit of smithing, though, so I can repair and improve my own gear and yours, if you should need it. Do you have your own bedroll? Good. My tent can fit two people. It's quite spacious. And we will probably have to camp outside. No matter what quest we end up doing. It's amazing how much I can fit in this backpack. I feel stronger whenever I put it on. Perhaps it is enchanted. We need plenty of food as well, but Elda usually has plenty for sale. And if we need more, There's a couple of food stalls at the market square. I need more arrows as well. Steel or orcish. The rest are either too low quality or too expensive. I think our armor is good enough, but we could use some warm cloaks. Preferably saber cat fur. That's the best. I lost mine, but hopefully I can afford a new one. You should get one as well. It will most likely be cold where we are going. That's all I can think of right now. You just enjoy the rest of your dinner and get some rest, and I'll write down a shopping list for us tomorrow. And we can add to it if we think of anything. Alright, let me know when you decide on a quest.